What stood out about the first four days? Like, what do you think about this team? What's the identity kind of formulating to be? Um, first four days, first two days, we couldn't really hit. Um, these last two days really showed us, showed me that we were physical and, and we got intent um, coming into practice and just our whole approach. Um, I feel like overall we got better as a football team. I feel like each day, especially on the, in, the, in this uh, secondary, we have, we have gotten better each and every day. So that's something that I'm really looking forward to. And that's something that I think is a great, um, I guess, um, achievement uh, so far. So. What are those aspects of improvement that you've seen from the secondary the, the last few days? Yeah, yeah, like I said, just being being a physical, like Coach Fuller always say in the um, meetings, like we're only as physical as our secondary. Because if, if we got to fit blocks, if we got to snag a release and, and get off block, then all the 10 or 9 other guys can do their job. So we can't be physical if, 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 if we aren't in the back end. So that's one thing that I've uh, tried to uh, get better at and try to tell my boys as well. So I feel like the first four days or the, these last two days, we have done that. So. How's it? Did you come down with the interception and team earlier on? Yes, yes, yes sir. What? Where's your confidence now when it comes to defending a deep ball versus, you know, two years ago? How much has that grown? Um, I'd, be, I'd be surprised when I see it in the air, uh, to be honest. But, I mean, I mean, I feel like that confidence is always there. Uh, playing DB, you got to have some – you, you got to have that confidence. So, when I see the ball in the air, I, my, my mindset is it's, it's my ball. So. How's it been against these receivers and the speed they have? I know you guys have speed yourself, but just these first few practices, how's that been with that competition? It's, it's been it's been great. Um, I feel like as a, as a whole, um, I feel like we've never went against this many deep balls in practice before. We've always had over-the-top guys and intermediate guys and stuff like that, but I feel like just, just the speed that we have is crazy. So I feel like just overall, we have gotten better as a DB, and I know myself as, as well, just different kick angles and just playing different guys and knowing who you're going against as well. So, Because I study my guys as well because I know if I do that right now, when I get to the game, I, I already have a routine, what I'm looking for, and stuff like that. So. Is there a wide receiver or two that you find yourself kind of gravitating towards uh, in one-on-ones? I actually have two, um, Malik and Jaka. Um, I know the, I know those two are the shiftier um, type guys, and I'm not knocking any other uh, any other receiver. Um, all of our receivers are great, but just me personally, who I want to go against is Jaka and Malik, and I know those two guys will make me better. And I, I know I know Iron Trevor's Iron, and I know that they want to go against me too. So just going in, going into one-on-ones, releases, teams, Kelly, with that mindset, I know that will get both of us better. So. Talk about confidence defending deep balls. So it feels like you've looked just confident, really, in all aspects. Yeah. I guess how, how far have you come confidence-wise from two years ago when you got here? Um, a long way. Um, but I'm, I, it's, it's all a part of the process. You come in as a freshman straight out of high school, you don't really know what to expect. And, of course, with, with me having older brothers, of course, they've told me. And like I've told you all before, it's different when you're actually in it. So just the growth and just the progress, just mentally and physically that I've grown, um, it's just amazing. But all glory to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So without without him, I wouldn't have any growth. So I'm going to shout him out uh, number one. So When you go to get these receivers, what is the competition level like? Is there trash talk? Is there guy like? Is there trash talk after practice? Is there trash talk before, during? Like, what is what is that competition level like? Before, during, after, we trash talk every day. Me, and Malik, like it's really mainly me and Malik. Me is a kind of more. I, I, everybody, I, I'm more. I'm more on the quiet side until you turn me up. So, um, me and, and, and Malik know how to really kind of push my buttons. And me and I, I feel like he kind of gravitated towards that earlier on, just trying to see. Uh, how he can get a reaction out of me and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's football. At, at, at the end of the day, we keep football stuff on the field. And when uh, we're off, of course, we joke about stuff. And, as well, and, and we know we're getting better every day, so we have fun with it. But at the end of the day, also a teammate. Yeah. And you want them to be good. Well, yeah, so do you, do you give them, like, yeah. hints? Like, hey, man, I could read this a little bit. I could Absolutely. see what you're doing. But then that kind of hurts you in practice if you're helping nah, them. Nah, it don't, it don't, it don't, it don't really hurt me because it's going, it's going to make me better at, right. the, at the end of the day. If I could tell them something that they can get better at, I know it's going to get me better because I, I may have seen this, but I haven't seen that before. Right. So if I can get better at that, then I know I, I can become a complete cornerback and I can see different looks and see different things, and that will overall just make me a better player. So I wouldn't say that would harm me in any way. I, it, it don't it really matter because they're my teammate at the right. end of the day. And you can ask them. I, if I if I beat them on the rep or if they beat me on the rep, I'm going to tell them what they did that beat me. So next time when they come, they can try to look for that, and I can get better. So if I don't do that, I'm cheating my teammate. So. When you were a freshman, was, did a receiver do that with you? Like say, hey, man, I, I – this is how I got open against you. This is what I took advantage of, or anything to be, like that. To be honest, uh, when you come in as a freshman, like nobody really, like a receiver, not gonna say, "Oh, hey," like right. 
Like, you know what I mean? They, they, they're, they're receivers. They aren't, they aren't going to do that, but I know the DBs do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Most selfless, man. The receiver ain't going to do that. <laughs> so. I know, uh, I know you, you're off on the field at the same time as him, so you might not be seeing what Fentrell's doing on, on the same plays as you. How impressed have you been? I just go back seeing him on film, and how much of a difference do you think a year under his belt here has made for Fentrell? Oh, uh, man, Fentrell, man, I call, I call him a technician. Like, and he's, a, he's, a, he's quiet, but he's, but he's dangerous. So um, just seeing him going out there, I learned from him, and me and him learn together. After a practice, we get releases in, and we just try to tell each other, like, different pointers and little tools that we can add in, in our uh, tool belt to help each other. But, man, his growth from last year is, is crazy. Just coming into a scheme that everybody knows we play man. You feel me? We, we're, we're barely going to run zones, so everybody knows we're in man. Like, it, there's no secret about it. Um, so just, it's just the growth that I've seen from him. I know he's going to have a big, huge year. I know both of us are going to have a huge year, and I know we're going to continue to learn from each other. You mentioned that Ventrell's on the quiet side. You said you're a little bit more until you get going. Yeah. Who, who's the communicator then in the secondary? Yeah, yeah. don't get that misconstrued. You feel me? Like, I, I, I talk. I communicate. I'm just talking about I don't do all that talking, like, all that trash talk. Like, I play my game, and when I need to turn up, I turn up. But I'm not no loud mouth. I'm not going to go out there and be like, hey, 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 like, you trash, you garbage. Like, I'm not doing that. Like, but if you turn me up, then I'm going to start talking, and then you're really going to hate me. So that's what I mean by I'm not a talker, but I communicate to my boys. So don't get that misconstrued. So. Who's the natural, I guess, trash talker then in the second? Do you have one? Shaheen Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Shaheen Brown. Is good? All right, y'all. God bless. Thanks, Azizu. That's what I thought the answer was going to be. Thank you.